We are broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. And the Mutant Eaters have a proud history in the NFL of winning just about everything but the really big game that matters. And maybe that's why they have the same exact number of bars and churches. Hey, shut up and pass the pain and tides, huh? Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. And it's first and ten. The brain scrambler. Second down and five. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. And he sure got his refund. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, and like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He's running out of gas now. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. First and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Hot one, Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and seven. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Point rage! Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another! He 
He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And he scores. Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle fat organs and skin. Well, it makes it easy for him to dance. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. Burn. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Cannonball, first down, and with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Man, he really wants it. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and oh, he just got crushed. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. First down, and the running game opens up for them. And oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. No, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty 
trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down in a lot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than completions. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. <laughs> Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as you. You got it? Huh? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> and it's first and ten. another pick man oh man the defense is gonna have more receptions than the he refuses to go down his cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking boom to the moon another loser bites the dust in the nfl winning is really about how much you want it bricks well he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy that's a good point grim First and ten. And that run is... I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. And that'll bring up second and one. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, it's probably evident. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. When the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. First and four. 
And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. First and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB. I personally think the ginormous guy is... And another interception. This quarterback... Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, you most likely in a I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And he punched his way out of... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. I will ask him to chill him. I am a hell of a fellow. And it's first and ten. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. It's a touchdown! Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I'm on. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Man. They're going for two points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. Hey, man, she's going to get him now. You know what
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do... Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick! Man, rough day! Interceptions counted as touchdowns. He'd be in the Hall of Fame. Don't you just... Whoa, Mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First down and one. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Don't make any mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and seven. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least. Some and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and ten. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of it. Holy crap! He runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old Nut Crunch.
defense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Man, did I kill him? First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. And oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Boom! When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. Nice hit. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. yards on that run. Second down and seven. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more risk. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. First and ten. This guy's a brick shit house, and he's off to the races. The twenty gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. I and it's first and ten. Second down and long. Bam! Oh, 
Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Man, how did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. Second down and ten. And he lets fly with the bomb. Nicely done for a first down. First and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. At this rate, the QB's going to have more intercept. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork, though, than me. On a kind of not clenching and kicks, though. I must <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Second down and more than the QB would like. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstop. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Third down and, well, good luck. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And it's first and 10. Covered my son's death metal album. Yeah, baby. Fell up the hearts. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten.
I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. <laughs> It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the towel oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him do him a favor finish him and it's first and ten and he held on to that one for a first down First down and six. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beat for Brain Tram and a ball didn't fall down. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division. And he breaks away. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. And it's first and ten. In a fight between King Tongue and Godzilla, the player on Roid Rage would win. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for steak tartare? And that's how you run the football. First down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. He is quarterback passes for a touchdown. Yeah, man, he's going to get him now. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. And it's 
first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Never do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Well, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. You want Second down in a very lot. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. Hits. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he... Oh, what the brutal hit! And that's a hell of a cheap shot! <laughs> Gotta love it! And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling! He could go all the way! He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. They might catch him. Move, you fat little Newton. Yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without heads. Remember? We can dance if we want. Yeah. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. No, well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. And it's first and ten. Uh, 
Thunderclap. Well, he made the pass, but then a... When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! The defense is down to their last two defensive backs. Once they're gone, it's game over. Those poor safeties and cover backs are really getting beat up today. First down and one. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. down in a mile. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Man, look at those moves, Bricks. His teammates better compliment his dancing skills. Otherwise, they're going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought oh the player's favorite they're going to be able to return this one he broke free and has open field in front of him the 30 he's at the 20 but here comes the defense. Touchdown! He takes it to the house on the kickoff return and scores. Man, what a play. <laughs> I like this. They're going for two. trap some fine footwork right there <laughs> oh man the purple mutant eaters were devoured by the opposition today and lose this game by forfeit it's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit they weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway the fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't gotta love that fan Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're...